Hello everybody, this is Agapis Games, and welcome back to Crossout 101. We are going to do a really quick video debating the new uh, changes to the uh, radiators. For this, we're going to go compare the weapon cooler, as well as the improved radiator. We're going to first kind of overlook the stats. Improved radiator increases weapon overheat thrust by 50%. Uh, the... Um, uh, tooltip has not um, uh, yet been updated. The co uh, cooldown time does not increase anymore, and if its effect stacks, weapon cooler increases cooling rate. So this one increases the speed where you cool down, and this one uh, incre uh, increases the time you get fire. This one has 240 power score, 126 point of structure. One energy drain and one to do and eight kilograms of mass. Weapon cooler has 270 uh, power score, 6.3 points of structure, 63 points of structure, one energy drain and 64 kilograms of mass. This thing is rather big. It's two by uh, four by four, which does make it kind of hard to place. Well, the weapon cooler is only two by two. First, we're gonna take a look at the stock repair gun. Gonna fire just defending the shots automatically without, and I'm gonna count out loud how long it takes to cool uh, for it to overheat. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 shots before this thing overheats. If we add the radiator, we're gonna fire. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, which is 7 more. They got fire for 50% longer uh, with one of these things. Next, for this, I'll have to take up my uh, spreadsheet. One moment. Okay, the repair. The repair has. Um, A cooldown time of 2.7 seconds. So if you let it cool uh, down, you can see 1, 2, 3, it's around 3 seconds. If we add a weapon cooler to this thing, one, two, and uh, it cools down. And thanks to this, it will cool down for 50% faster. Now, um, the um, improved radiator has an uh, immediate effect to your if you into your uh, how you feel. Um, you can fire much longer. However, this is um, much more no even more noticed with a shotgun. Can I fire four times and uh, before firing four times again? And if you take a radiator on here, can I fire six times, can I fire much longer, it, and of course, deal much more damage. But if you take this cooler. It takes much a shorter time for you to overheat. And I do want to note, uh, point out that the cooling rate increasement is kind of different than you would think. The stock cooling time is 100%. So let's say, uh, let's see how much this thing is exactly. The uh, Lupara has a cooling time of 2.6 seconds. That's 100%. I have to take in consideration how 50% would be 5.2 seconds and 200% 1.3 seconds. This basically increases by 50% so it would be 150 seconds. So it would be somewhere between 1.3 seconds and 2.6 seconds. So it will be under 2 seconds but not very much under 2 seconds. Now in my opinion I personally think uh, with normal we most weapons, uh, having uh, I would combine at least one of them each, like so, firing 
six shots and then cooling down really quickly as well. I would that uh, if you're gonna go for these parts, I would add at least one of each. So let's go for this. And after that, I'll probably add first a second cooler. So you get this really, really fast cooldown around it. This will be 200% cooling rate, so that would be 1.3 seconds cooldown time. And after that, I would add another uh, normal uh, bar uh, radiator, but since I don't have a rare one, I will use two common ones because together they have the same effect. So, eight shots, but still the very same, very fast cooling speed. But this is as much uh, as much you would use on any build, four of these. The situation now that most weapons will end up having you 12 energy. And having four of these, meaning you can have uh, at the order 60 energy with the upcoming Apollo. But most of the time I would actually use three of them only. So that will be ending up at uh, two coolers and one radiator. Also in a build, having a so, and one part that's two or twice as big as the other part. And two of the other parts means so you can put it on the same side, one one on the left and then the radiator on the left and then the two colors on the right or vice versa. But that's that. Please comment down below what do you guys think. I do want to point out there's one exception. The exception that I got in my inventory right now is the equalizer. The equalizer is a minigun that um, when holding the fire button if you look at the bottom, you can see first the heat meter, but then after that you can see some kind of circle going around. And as soon as it stops firing, it disappears. That circle. Also, if I just release it and then fire again, it's again coming down from below and it's waiting again. That is the damage meter for the equalizer. If this weapon fires longer, you can get higher damage. So that I f uh, suggest first going for um, basically two. Uh, radiators on this thing before going for one cooler and after that adding a third radiator if possible in this case it would be a single one so we'll have a few radiator but this gives you a lot of dps output because when this thing is at top speed i already got like one third or maybe even a quarter of the firing cycle still left. Which means I can actually kind of look at the starting damage right here. You can see how it goes up solely. Actually with this exposed cabinet it's best to show. 15, 17, 20, 22, 30 already. At 6 at 31. 56, 7, 8, 9, 20, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. Every hit is one higher damage and it keeps taking at 31 damage. That is quite a lot of damage for such a gun. I think this is just one gun. Getting a uh, damage of 31. I'll put like this. It's actually quite serious because if you, for example, combine it uh, compared to a Lupara, a single Lupara is not gonna get that high damage output, even though it's a shotgun. Wait, this thing is common, the other one is an epic part. First, I of course have to dig through the armor a little bit. This one has a total of 50 damage, but uh, fire set and slower take actually 47. But the fire scene takes that are have as quick, so you have to define them by two. 
We'll uh, end up at 23.5 damage compared to the 31 of the Gatling gun. And the Gatling gun can pump that damage out at long range even. And the power has to be very close in order to do that. And this time, this gun even has decent damage output at this range. And uh, you actually can deal some very high damage. Also, if you take a look at the other clean parts and overheating parts, first off, you've got the Kavanaugh one 25% overheating threshold. Doesn't do much, but it's better than nothing, I guess. I would not put this thing on if you can uh, put otherwise uh, put on a machine gun or something. You've got the radiator for 50%, that one does help quite a bit. Then we got our weapon cooler, weapon cooling rate of 50%, so it was a pretty good part. And then we got our epic ones, the charge radiator by 70%. It's not, it's not entirely a, a like a 1, 2, 3 step up, because this one is done slightly worse. But this thing is more compact than the improved radiator. Um, and it still costs only 1 energy. This thing is just absolutely huge right here, improved cooler. Uh, weighing in at uh, the same size as a, I f actually think it's the same size or similar size as the heavy generator, but six by two by t um, six by two by three or four maybe even. Um, also, these things are pretty special. This one has actually has the higher your speed of your vehicle, the higher uh, the FX bo bonus goes. Uh, maximum FX of thirty kilometers an hour. So you do not really have to go that fast. And this one, the lower your speed, the higher the bonus. Maximum effect is for it standing still. That's actually rather special. So you have to, if you go for a build, you have to choose between either one of these. And I would use a normal, cheaper part instead of the other one. Because... Um, actually, I will probably, once I get hoppers, I will probably get myself a second, maybe even a third um, cutting gun, and then I will be using a few charged radiators in combination with my normal coolers. Um, because they are very fast, and you do not, and with these radiators, you get the bonus. But yeah, this one is also 70%, only one energy drain, but you have to choose between them because of the speed. That said, I want to thank you guys all for watching and I will see you guys all later.